And I'm back. Before we start looking at what I found in the first part of December 2023, I want to thank my fellow YouTubers who inquired about my well-being while I was not making videos, but also people like Tim Bus and David Harper. I've also got a new phone, so the quality of the image should be better. Let me know if it is. Make sure that your YouTube settings on your end are put on the highest quality too. Um, this is not everything I got the first half of December. There was too much stuff, so uh, could not fit it all in one video. And I also wanted to make a shorter video as the first one with my new phone to get kind of used to it and see uh, what I can improve. Although the setup is uh, pretty much uh, like it was um, uh, on my last phone. So we start with some uh, early December. Kretvat was doing a sale, 25% off on toys. Um, I found this uh, treasure hunt. This is a 2023 release. Not something I get usually excited about, but for only one euro and 12 cents. Eh, you know what, I'll pick it up. The Arise and Climb. So get the Treasure Hunt logo in the back there. Quick Hot Wheels Cycling Mechanic. Livery. Fastest bike repair. Got two uh, bicycles wedged in the back there. So generic, has some resemblance to some real existing vehicles. So I'll have an example of that fantasy casting. And then we got the uh, Beatles Yellow Submarine. I have this loose uh, and I kind of wanted a carded version that has the Fab 4 on there. So that's why uh, I got this one, also a 2023 release. And then a, in a store called Yes, I, um, I'm subscribed to their newsletter and uh, folder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I saw they had this Majorette MAN TGX truck Porsche experience um, available for only nine euro and 99 cents. Cheapest I had seen it before was uh, around 20 euro. Usually this is 25 or 30. Uh, they claim the regular price is 15 euro, which is already very uh, cheap. Uh, I was never planning on buying this, even though I really wanted this exclusive Porsche Taycan, but it's just um, uh, very, um, well, it's not very toy-ish, but you know, they. I understand Majorette is a toy company and they need to make it exciting. So they made this with all kinds of features that don't really interest me. I would rather just have a car transporter that I can put four Porsches on there. Um, but you know, it's okay. Um, so, but for this kind of price, I decided to grab it. This was packaged in Bangkok on the 31st of January of 2022. So let's see if we can uh, get those cars out to have a look. Of course, the green Porsche 911 GT3 we've already seen many times before, but uh, the Taycan obviously not since it's an exclusive. So there you go, got some uh, plastic stuff down there and a little, uh, little booklet it seems. Yeah, the uh, 2021 collection. So we are 2024, so that's uh, quite a while ago. And we take this out just like that, yeah. If you want to see a proper review of the features of this truck, um, I will put a link to a, a Diecast Dude video who uh, completely reviewed this. We're going to just look at the, uh, the tractor. A little bit, no uh, tampos on the, for the taillights. We get some side tempos and the front is relatively well done tempo wise. 
MEN TGX built 17th of January 2022. So you can actually drive a few cars in here. Uh, two to be exact. So the two that are in here actually fit in there. And then you can fold it open and do all kinds of stuff for that. But again, I refer you to the Dikas Dude video. So first up, we have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Suspension, lens headlights, full deco, or at least four tempo sides. And opening doors, of course, that is all very known stuff for majorettes and proper steering wheel so we can uh, drive that one in there and next up we have the exclusive taken turbo s with the same features Just the front and rear deco on this one. Well, no, there's a little bit of side deco too. And then you can drive this one in here too. I don't know if it will stay in there. Yep. And then close it up. And you have a two car transporter. Get the box to the side. Put that in the back there. There you go. And then the um, the week later, second week, or well, yeah, I think the second week of December, um, the Carrefour hypermarket was doing a sale on toys. If you bought 50 euro worth of stuff, you got 25 euro back, so that's 50% off. Um, same type of clearance as they did last year, but they do several clearances uh, at the end of the year and beginning of the next year. So uh, at my uh, at the uh, Carrefour hypermarket that was closest to my home, I um, spent a little bit over 50 euro, so that comes down to 48.71 percent off. Um, and in the same the same time, Mattel was doing a buy two get one free discount, and uh, those both of those discounts could be combined. So that way, I got this uh, moving parts vehicle from 2023 for only one euro and thirty six cents. That is uh, very cheap, indeed. So this is the Difco milk truck. Let's take a look. I wonder if there is a, a variation on the interior. I thought there was, but I've got two other ones and uh, they have the same interior. So not sure about it. Three tempo sides, plastic opening doors. Let's see this interior looks like so we got the three crates on the right and then the seat on the there yeah that's the same interior as the other two i have so these two have the same interior and this one also so i thought there was a variation where there's stuff behind the seat there maybe there is and i just don't have it uh, maybe I'm just imagining stuff here. Kind of a weird uh, deco for a milk uh, float, but anyway, that's fine. And then we get the uh, 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet. So we got the rear deco and for life on the license plate. Let's get the 
urinal steering wheel which they tend to put on all convertibles which of course has a logic explanation because you can stand up in these to uh, take a leak and then we get the front decker there not very popular this casting I think the steering wheel has a lot to do with it nice closing doors though same with this one 1956 Morris Minor so 70 years special edition but these Morris Miners are kind of peg warmers even though there's not a lot of stores that have these still they don't sell very well of course you know at normal price five and a half euro is a bit uh, a bit much I mean, Morris Minor a thousand tour so a thousand referring to the engine size one liter I suppose get uh, engine detail that is very nice I think this is a really nice casting and I think it's very fitting for Matchbox and uh, people who do not like it or don't want to buy it are uh, missing out deco in the front and in the rear soft top is a metal part of the the casting and there's a left hand drive and a right hand drive version so um, I only found the left hand drive version on this occasion sweet also got some uh, majorette um, this is uh, the um, color changes color changers premium cars set um, that has these vehicles in it so um, this set came out in 2022 but was based on the 2020 limited edition color changers only difference is so it's got all the same cars as uh, they, they were in the limited edition set I will uh, I'll show the uh, the actual set so this says not premium cars but limited edition color changer so this is a limited edition series 6 so we get the Audi S5 we get the Dodge SRT Viper get the Ford Mustang GT get the Lamborghini Huracan Avio The Porsche 911 GT3 RS and the Subaru WRX STI. So if you compare the back sides here, we got uh, five of the same vehicles, and then there's one, the Subaru, that was in the original set, that is not in the premium car set. The Renault Megane RS was a exclusive in the 13 pack. I never got the 13 pack. I think the other exclusive is a Lamborghini Urus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is a great way to get uh, the uh, exclusive as a as a single. Um, now I started wondering why why did they, they swap the uh, Subaru? with the Renault Megane so I started investigating and uh, in the um, 2020 catalog there were four Subarus so there was the, um, the premium cars version very nice one there was a, a blue racing version and also a white racing version which unfortunately I don't have and then there was this one and since 2020 we have not seen any Subaru in the Majorette lineup 
So that makes me conclude that Majorette has lost the Subaru license. So kind of a, as a, a look back at the um, at Subaru and the Majorette lineup, I'm going to show you a few, well, pretty much all the Subarus I have uh, by Majorette. Here's the uh, a limited edition glow in the dark version. It has the glow in the dark base and wheels. Here is a Australia Police version. Very cool. Uh, this uh, was gifted to me by uh, Fax Dead, I, if I'm not mistaken. I got a few from Tyrone of Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection too, but I think this one I got from uh, Ty uh, Fax. And then they had an older casting. So, Pretty much, uh, I'm only missing the white racing cars version. All the other ones I have. And this is an older casting. Subaru Impreza WRC. This um, was released in 2006 as a kind of a... Um, street version of a WRC car. No interior on these WRC cars, never got an interior. And then the actual WRC version was uh, first released in 2004. I have a gold rim version and a, a silver rim version. I think uh, otherwise they are pretty much the same. So I won't be opening this up right now. I'm going to try to get all the limited edition vehicles and then add this to it and then open them up all in one video don't know if that will ever happen but you know you can only uh, try right let's put this one here then also got a few of the new uh, city cars these um, were new for 2023 i think so this is the Volvo FMX in a garbage truck livery. Um, I ended up during the, the whole um, well December and January, I ended up getting five of the six city cars vehicles. So we'll see this one later in this video. Uh, this one, there were still three of them at my local Carrefour hypermarket at the time I got the, this. Uh, this was, um, I think, um, two left and that one was one left. So I thought I grabbed the ones that are less examples of. And then at the later sale, I get the one that's still three of left. Unfortunately, I never found that again. So well, that's the risk you take when you're a cheapskate. That's fine. That's just the way I collect, and I'm totally fine with that. So, let's see, Volvo FMX, it says on the base. So, three axles, six wheels, metal COE, cab over engine. Actually, the, um, the gray you see here on the side is also metal, and then the white, of course, too. Got two cherries on top. Pretty much fully decorated on the front, but then nothing on the side of the cab. And the garbage part is plastic, it's kind of loose on there. It's got this part that opens up, doesn't really do much. No tampos on the taillights again. But yeah, good enough. Uh, if I don't forget, we'll put these in the container with the other ones at the end of this video. And here's another City Cars uh, new release. The uh, Mac Granite. Granite on the base too. Got some chrome on this, smokestack, uh, battery box possibly, fuel tank possibly, and the uh, sun visor. 
That's a cool touch. Matte black paint for the metal cabin. And also got part of the chassis in black, you know, the, the wheel arches and stuff. Nicely painted up in the front, got the chrome bumper, that's very nice too. And a plastic box on the back that opens up. There you go. It's got a trailer hitch. And I also got these uh, street cars, five packs that have uh, some repeats from the street cars, some newer ones, and then it's got two of these city vehicles. That's basically the reason why I got these. But you know, I did not have the white Hyundai either. So, and the other cars aren't bad, aren't bad either. So. Definitely pleased with it. So let's see uh, the stuff we've already seen. Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. I call this the 4x4 Lamborghini Supercar. Because it's got so, such big wheels and sits so high up off the ground. Looks like a 4x4. Very common, well, at least here in Europe. We also already saw the Audi A1 Sportback. So street cars, so no opening parts on these, but they do get the suspension and the lens headlights and uh, usually four uh, tempo sides. And they got the, the base that clips into the body, so no post on these, so. You know, a lot of bang for your buck from Majorette. Then one that I have not shown on this channel yet because I did not have it, the Hyundai i30N. Nice one. And then the two city vehicles first example I have of this Fiat 500 Icon, so this is the uh, electric version, it's got the, uh, the eyebrows or whatever you want to call that, very nice, got the Italian flag on the hood or bonnet, major on the side, pizzeria with a phone number, a plastic insert separate for the soft top that is folded down, very cool, yeah. Matron really did a great job on this one. Nice uh, steering wheel with the flat uh, bottom. That's uh, very well done. Nice authentic looking seats and, and dashboard. Yeah, leave it to Majorat to make a uh, nice interior for a, a very nice interior for a basic car. Sweet. Then we get the Audi R8 Taxi. This one does not have suspension, which is good. I don't believe, I don't think the Majorette sports cars need suspension because that way they sit nice and low. Suspension lifts the vehicle up, literally. Taxi sign is kind of meh, but you know, um, that's how they do it. They got two pins going through the roof. This is, uh, I think this was also featured as a Dubai police car, so it would have the blue light bar on top. So they kind of use that same uh, space to make a taxi sign. It's a cool addition to the uh, taxi collection for sure. And then I also got this one, basically for this vehicle. A, uh, International SOS Cars release. A lot of stuff we've already seen, I believe. 4GT in purple. The uh, Renault Twingo in uh, 143 scale, almost.
Porsche Panamera Turbo. So here we get a uh, opening door vehicle. So this is uh, from the SOS cars, but not all SOS cars have uh, opening parts. So this one does. And you see the, uh, the blue light bar I was referring to when I was talking about the Audi R8 taxi. Jeep Wrangler. A lot of suspension travel on this, very cool. The uh, plastic hardtop. And then the one I really wanted, a Suzuki Jimny. Um, this is part of the international SOS car, so it's, I'm going to have a hard time finding this in any other way. At the, um, strangely enough, an orange light bar on top. Marine Patrol, police. Got the plastic roof, this one. Yeah, cool. So let's put the trucks in with the other ones. So this is a container I have for majorette uh, rigs, lorries, whatever you want to call them. So previously we saw the garbage truck with a MAN uh, TGX, I believe. TGS, sorry. So now we got the Volvo one, put that next to it. This was also a city vehicle, the MEN with the, um, the gas tanker. And we'll put the, uh, the Mac also in here. Well, put it in there for now. And then we got a few of the cement ones and the uh, fire truck and then some other Mercedes. So yeah, really a bummer that Majorette has lost the Subaru license, especially this year because we're getting the Japan series that has Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Suzuki and Mitsubishi in it. So no Subaru, also no uh, Mazda, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't think they ever had the uh, Mazda license, so that's not that strange. Thanks for watching.